Hola! This is Deanna Baker of D. Baker Designs and today I am making some dwarves. It's been a long process of trial and error and I finally got it down. I'm using a black habitat um, epoxy for the body and there's great stuff foam in there um, and some other EVA foam I've made the body with. Covering it with that black habitat and then I found a cool process because I wanted the clothing to look like material. So I bought some of these rags and um, made little tunics for the seven dwarves. Now these are going to go into a pool our friends at Legendary Escapes is making and it's a Disney theme pool. And so these are the seven dwarves. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this material that I've sewed and I'm mixing um, some clear epoxy. This is just smooth on, uh, fast drying clear epoxy, so we're going to have to work fast. It's part A and B. Um, and then I'm going to dip this in there and then dress them. And then when he dries, he's going to look amazing. Okay, so we're going to add part, this is part A, part B. Just add it in. We have to work fast. Okay. Make sure there's little arm holes actually because I'm going to be adding arms to it later. I know my little workstation here is a mess, but that's what you get when you play with the epoxy. You just dip it all in. Twist it around. Try to soak up all the material. And what I do is I open it up and I like wring it out. I'm wringing all the epoxy into the dry material. Just keep working it, working it. You feel it getting warm. Definitely want to wear gloves. Feel the heat activated in your hand. This goes fast. See there's some dry areas still, so we just work that in. Okay. Just a couple of dry ones. Now I tried this with the black habitat and it was way more of a pain plus this drives really really fast let me just dress them make sure the front's going on the front put that on him like that take a rubber band for his neck this is why i have resin all down the front of me matter how it first looks because you're going to be arranging the fabric how you want it to dry. So he has a beard that goes on front of him there. Okay, then put him upside down. I'm going to put a little belt on him. hot glue hold his belt in place without trying to burn yourself I love hot glue and I hate it because I'm always burning myself and yes you can feel it through these gloves okay 
to hold it in place a couple seconds. Then we arrange the fabric how you want it to lay and stay. Give them a little pooch. Okay, shake it out. belt show or not have his belt show. Maybe some of it. I'll shake them out. Move his beard here so you don't have to lay a little flat. Then fix the collar how you want it. So this rubber band will come off. Make sure the seams are where you want it. You might have to turn just a little. Seams are on the side. Like that. And then we let them dry. Oops, let's pull this guy up a little. Yeah, see? Perfect. Now this will dry hard and look like fabric. Then I plan to put the black habitat over this. So see if we want the belt to show, we can just pull that up and tuck it under. So the belt's now showing. little added detail. See? Then put it aside and let him dry. See? So when he does dry, he looks like this. See how it still looks like material? But see how this is not moving? Cool, huh? So like I said, I tried it with the black habitat. Ooh. and it was a pain to work in it's taking way longer to dry but it is so I figured um, I'm gonna put the black habitat over this but I'm painting it anyways one of them has red but they don't all have red so um, so this protects it from the elements uh, that cause these are going in the grotto in the pool area so we want them to be protected from water chlorine all that so see it'll be fully sealed and ready to go all right that's just a quick tip i learned with resin have fun thank you